Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you a few things that I have been collecting for the past couple of weeks. Um, I was going to do this as like a giant haul of like other orders and I'm still waiting for it, but I just couldn't wait any longer because I've been using these products for about a week or two already and I don't think it's fair to um, keep on using them when they aren't going to look new anymore without hauling them first. So I just decided to haul what I have gotten the past couple of weeks. There are, a, I think there's only two online orders or three. There's three, but the third one's only like one thing. And then the other two are things like from Makeup Geek and another brand that I've never tried before. And then I also have a few things from MAC and something from Sephora and something from Ulta. And I think that's really it. So let's just jump right in. So the first thing I wanted to share, I'm still waiting for a Morphe order, a um, Makeup Monsters order that I've never ordered from before. I can't wait to try those out. And when I just ordered some stuff from Lime Crime and I ordered some stuff from ColourPop that I'm still waiting for. But all this stuff was not too expensive. Like I try to use promo codes when I can. I mean, these are like new brands that I've never tried before. I decided to wear a Lime Crime Velveteen that I haven't worn in forever. And I cannot believe I don't wear this more often. This is cashmere. And this color is so gorgeous. So let's just jump right into the haul. So the first order is something that I've never, uh, is a company that I've never ordered from before. I was going to wear something a little bit nicer to film this. But I'm just home and I'm going to go to work at like 4.30 455-ish. So I just decided to throw on my makeup now and plus my sister comes home later and she'll be like, who are you talking to if I decide to do it later? So um, the first thing is an order from online. This is the first time I've ever ordered from this company. So I really wanted to try out the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. So this is the uh, package that it came in. The other side is just my address, but the the uh, back of the packaging is a lot nicer, so I decided to show this to you. So it says Dose of Colors. Their logo is really, really pretty. I think it's really, really cool. And then I'm just going to show you what is inside. It's just my um, order form, and then there's like this little card that says Dose of Colors. It says, thank you for your purchase and welcome to the color revolution. And it's signed by the, I guess, the creator, Anna Petrosian. So inside, I have two of the um, liquid lipsticks. They look like this. Let me just make sure I'm facing them the right way. So I got these two colors right here. I got the colors um, Truffle and Stone. So I'm going to show you what they look like. So this one is Stone. The packaging is very, like, fading, so like, you can't really see very well that it says Dose of Colors, but it says uh, Stone Liquid Matte Lipstick right there, and then obviously it says Stone on the top. And I obviously ordered this because people go absolutely nuts over this one color right here. This color is always sold out on their website, and they finally brought it back and restocked it. So I decided I finally wanted to try it out. Um, I wasn't originally going to purchase anything from this brand because, like, it takes me a while to try some brands because, like, I want so many things from other brands and, like, I don't try to, to buy too much makeup um, all at once because, you know, I'm paying for a car. So I want to make sure that I have money to go out and I have money for my car. So... Um, I'm trying to control myself when it comes to buying makeup, but sometimes it's a little hard. But this has only, like, been orders from, like, once a week or something. So anyway, this one is the color Stone. And it comes in this really cute packaging. It has a frosted glass um, tube, and then it has, like, a white top. And then this is the applicator. It's, like, a... Uh, like angled doe foot applicator. I have a full review on these. You know what, what was weird though is that like I started talking about these before I even hauled them. Like I did the whole liquid lip liquid lipstick review on these and I did the um battle of the liquid lipsticks all including these when I hadn't even have hauled these yet. So I figured it was about time. So this is the color stone right here. You can see it's pretty damn similar to cashmere. 
I just think cashmere is the most like grayest tone lipstick that I have and I love how it looks. I love how it has this that little bit of brown in it. So that one is stone right here. And then this one is called truffled. And I have to I mean truffle. I have to say right now that I prefer this color more than stone and I'm going to swatch it for you. Obviously it's the same packaging. It says truffle on the top right here. And then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is obviously the same packaging. They also say the color on the bottom as well, and the tube is, is just really, really cute, and I'm going to swatch it for you. The same applicator, everything. Ooh. And then this one is Truffle right here. Really pretty colors. They're really pretty colors, but with, what's the difference is that this one has like little to no scent. It's a very faint scent, and then Stone has like a really strong cookie batter scent which I like, but I have to say I prefer this one more. This one just like is smoother, lasts longer. People have been saying about this one stone that it's been completely reformulated and the formula is not good anymore. And I was trying to trust like my favorite YouTubers like Stephanie Nicole and, you know, Kathleen Light. She raves about this lipstick and um, this is like my uh, Stephanie Nicole's like favorite lipstick of all time, like liquid lipstick of all time, and I don't find that's the case for me. I find that my Lime Crime and my ColourPop are so much better than this lipstick here. So I don't know. I'm going to test them out more. I have worn this one twice. I've only worn this one once. So we will see. So that's enough about those, and let's jump into some other things. Um, so the next things I'm going to share with you are some things from MAC. I have this giant bag, but there's only three things in here, so let's just jump right in. So the um, first thing I'm going to share with you, I am so excited for this. I have been testing this out the past, like, week or so, and I have to say, this palette is bomb. This is the MAC Eyeshadow Warm Neutrals 15 Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm going to share with you and swatch some of the colors. Oh, my lipsticks fell over. Let's pick those up. Sorry. Um, I did also get two lipsticks, if you just didn't hear what I said, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So this is the pre-made palettes that they have that come with 15 full-size eyeshadows 15 full-size eyeshadows let's just take that in for a minute this is a incredible value for the price it is pricey it's like 80 bucks but I got this with two lipsticks and the lipsticks were basically free and I got like ten dollars off of this palette because I used two gift cards to purchase this and I bought these from the Macy's Mac store and I had like um a gift card that I had gotten from spending a hundred dollars and then I got a gift card um, I got like a twenty dollar gift card for like the cash from Macy's so I got that and then I also got a gift card because I decided to return the MAC 217 brush it just didn't work for me um, I found it way too rough on my eyes especially on my outer corners so I've just been using the Morphe 433 M433 and I heard from Manny MUA that it's an exact dupe for the MAC 217 brush. And it's only $5. Like, the Morphe brushes are only 5 bucks, And, like, their foundation brush is, like, $14. Like, it's basically a no-brainer for me to be purchasing Morphe brushes rather than MAC brushes. Because they're so cheap. So, I've been using the M433 a lot. And it's a lot softer on my eyes. The only thing that I have to say in comparison, like, I would have put it in a products I regret video, the MAC 217. I bought that brush because of Stephanie Nicole. I know I keep on mentioning her, but she's has a great YouTube channel. She's always commenting on all of my videos. And I tried it, and I just felt like it was very rough. And I bought it because she put it in her um, Blender series video of, like, um, beginning blending tutorials, which I actually purchased a few of those Makeup Geek shadows, which I'm going to haul soon. Um, but I tried the brush, and it just it was just didn't work for me. So the M433 is much softer, and especially on the outer corners, like I just find I can work with it a lot easier. The one thing I don't like about that one is that it sheds a little bit, but not too much, like nothing crazy. And the brush, the bristles fray a little bit, but it's nothing that I can't work with and maintain. So anyway, um, so I got 
two gift cards to put towards um, a MAC purchase. So I used those two gift cards and I basically got the two lipsticks that I have here for free. So I used the gift card that I used for the return and I used the cash money back card from Macy's. Now, this is one more part to my story then I'll actually start talking about these products. But um, when I went to return the MAC 217 brush, I got a gift card for it because I wanted to put a gift card towards this next purchase, towards this eyeshadow palette and the lipsticks. So, um, she had originally told me in the Mac store that if I decide to return something, you're going to lose the value of the cashback card that you got with your last purchase, like with that $20, um, cash money card that you got from Macy's. And I was like, um, okay. So I was a little bit confused. My boyfriend said I should have gotten, um, cash back instead, but he's like, just call customer service and see, like, if you still have value on that card, because she said I might lose the, um, value. She didn't say it would be, like, fully lost, so I called them, like, a couple days later, like, just to check the balance on my card. You can just call, like, you don't have to talk to anybody. You can just check, check the balance, so that's what I did, and I kept on saying I had $20 on the card, I guess maybe since I decided to purchase it within four days of it updating because it said that it won't update the, I guess it won't update the information on your card if a return was made in the last four days and I had made that return like four days prior to when I wanted to buy this stuff. And it said um, that it still had $20. So I was like, maybe if I actually, since I went and decided to use the card without it updating, maybe that's why it still had $20 left on it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm trying to describe this without sounding like a, a dumbass, but um, I guess I could use the $20 because I didn't decide to buy something after, like, those four days were over like within those I decided to buy something within those four days so it still had value on the card so anyway let me not confuse myself anymore and get into what is in this gorgeous palette now if you decide to buy these palettes by yourself and you fill your own individual shadows it's going to be like 150 160 dollars this palette is 80 dollars it's like basically half price and these are all like standard make like MAC shadows that I've been wanting for such a long time. Then I'm like let me just buy the damn palette because then I can just have a bunch of MAC shadows that I don't need to go out and repurchase individually for like $20 a piece. So then this is what the palette looks like. I've been using the crap out of this. Like the crap out of it. Like I just used it yesterday. I've used this like three times already and it is so beautiful. I love it. So the first row is... Hey, Warm Breeze, Ginger Snap, Dark Brew, and Dance in the Dark. Then here we have Brulee, Vanilla Extract, Honey Lust, Amber Lights, and Saddle. And then here we have Lemon Tart, Creative Copper, Butter Fudge, Divine Decadence, and Unwind. And oh my god, these shadows are gorgeous. Like... I find that they are super, super blendable. I'm going to swatch Saddle for you because this has definitely been my favorite one to use. Like, look at that right here. That's so pretty, right? And then, um, what's the other color I really like? This one is Amber Lights that I die over. It's such a gorgeous, it's such a unique shade. It's like a gold, but it has like orange in it. It kind of reminds me of Mako Geek's Flamethrower foiled shadow but that one's like on steroids but do you see that that is so disgustingly gorgeous like I love that color and then another one of my favorites is what's the other one um these are all shadows that like everybody has though this one dance in the dark is really pretty too that one is right here they're so pretty right I think the quality of these are like Top, top shelf. The one that I, like, I wasn't too crazy about, though, was this, um, color right here. I felt like the pigment was kind of disappointing. I mean, it was still good, but it wasn't, like, as good as these, like, glitter shades here. This one was called Honey Lust. Maybe it was this one or this one. What color is this? Creative Copper. I'm not sure which one it was, but I know one of them I didn't absolutely love. 
Um, but yeah, there's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Definitely recommend this 100% if you're deciding to buy some MAC shadows. I highly suggest these pre-made palettes because you're getting it at an incredible value. So I paid like 75 bucks for my purchase, which is incredible. So that was that. And then I also got two lipsticks because I decided I really wanted to pick up some more MAC matte lipsticks. So I got two of them. And I got some two very standard shades that a lot of people already have that I don't. So the first one is called um, Velvet Teddy. I got this one strictly because of Tati. I watched her, um, I think it was September Favorites video, and she was like raving about this lipstick. This was like her favorite nude everyday lipstick. Like I need another nude lipstick, but I really wanted another MAC one. I grabbed the one co wrong color. Give me one second. Okay, my bad. I accidentally um, grabbed uh, Velvet Teddy rather than, uh, I mean, I grabbed High Tea rather than Velvet Teddy. And I'm so glad I didn't put this all into one video because this is already 15 minutes long and I'm barely into it. So it would have been way too long to upload if I decided to throw everything together. So this one is called Velvet Teddy. And she raved about this one. And this color is so gorgeous. I love it. So I'm going to swatch it right here it's so beautiful i just wore it yesterday oh my god it's just such a pretty matte i am dying over these mac matte mac matte lipsticks i don't know why every time i say that i want to say mac mad i don't know why um and then the other color that i got is like one that like everybody and their mama was raving over and i finally decided to pick it up because as soon as i saw this one because i wanted to i wanted to look for like um, Velvet Teddy, and I wanted to swatch it, and somebody finally found it for me, but as we were looking for it, I also, they also grabbed this one too, and they wanted me to swatch it, and this one, I mean, I wanted to swatch it myself, and this one is Whirl. I know, this is like the one that everybody was like friggin' going crazy over, and I understand why, because this color is amazing. So this is the color right here. I know that is a terrible swatch, so let's fix that right there. This is like, such a beautiful fall color but also I think that this is like such a perfect color for people that are first experimenting with like darker lip colors I think that this is going to be like your standard shade if you're like just dipping your toes into getting like darker lipsticks and like you want to do more like fall vampy looks you should try this lipstick because I feel like this is such a perfect lipstick for you that you can get that brown, beautiful color, sorry, that I'm like scratching my chest, I don't know why it's red. Um, you can get that beautiful color, like, for the fall time, but you don't have to go too dark. Like, I've been getting really into fall lipsticks, like, ColourPop's Tool and Kat Von D's Lolita, but if you feel that those lipsticks are too dark for you, go for Whirl, because that one is a really beautiful color. So then the next thing is something that I got from Sephora, because I got this the same day as I got the MAC stuff and this is something that I find is very special for me to purchase. It's in this huge bag right here but it's only one item. So I'm just going to jump right in and show it to you. Now I have never purchased a holiday palette before in my life. So I finally decided like to treat myself and get um, a limited edition holiday palette because I've never had one before and I decided to purchase it for my favorite brand ever and that is of course Too Faced. And this is the Le Grand Palais palette. Do you see this packaging? Do you see how friggin' cute this is? Like, could you die over this packaging? In the back it shows you everything that is included in this palette. It is insane the value that you get in this palette. They said it's a $375 value and you pay $60 for this. Like, it's basically a no-brainer. So, I'm just going to show you. So, it pops open like this, and it's the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. Like, it is so adorable. So, this is what it looks like. It looks like a wrapped present, right? And then you open it like this. And then it comes out like so. So, I'm going to show you from the front. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And it comes out just like this. I'm going to hold it like this. And it comes out like that. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Right? Right? I love it. So it looks like that. So you get, so it has like this 
uh, background of Paris, which I think is like the cutest thing in the world. I'm going to take this out. And then when you pop it open, it revealed the beautifulness of the palette. So I'm going to show you what's up here. So we have like this really cute Sephora bag with a Too Faced blush a melt and two melted lipsticks, which I think is so cute. And then this Too Faced bag with the chocolate bar palette in it. And then like the background and like a mannequin. It's so cute. And then we get mini versions of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the Too Faced Melted Peony Lipstick, and the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which like basically is in every single value Too Faced palette, which is fantastic. And then you can pop out this and use the palette individually, which I think the, pa the packaging is like amazing on this. So, and then you can close it like that. And then this is your actual palette. So this is probably how I'm going to store it because it's so much easier to store this way, obviously. And then I can pop it open. I have not touched this palette because this is going to be my holiday palette. I'm just going to tell you the colors. I'm not going to swatch them all. We're going to be here forever. So up here you get three brow bone highlights. You get white Christmas, satin sheets, and vintage lace. Then the first row is delightful, moon on their wings, cobblestone, city lights, and dream light. String of lights, yule log, wish list, Ac de Trump. This one is a French name. I'm going to mess up this name so bad. So I'm not even going to say it. This one is Belle Femme. Then the last row is uh, Stiletto, Eiffel, Midnight in Paris, Champs Elise, and Party Dress. So those are all the eyeshadows. And then you get two blushes, a highlighter, and a bronzer. Such a good value. And these are really good size blushes. So this one is Stardust and Skyline for the blushes. And then the highlighter is called Flush. And then the bronzer is called Sun Bunny. Now, I've heard mixed reviews about this palette. I heard that it's not their best palette, but I just think I tried out some of the colors, and I think that they're really pretty. So I heard that the quality of the blushes are really good. I heard that the um, highlighter is good, and I heard a lot of the mattes are really good in here too. So, I mean, I just really I can't wait to play with this. So um, maybe I'll just swatch like a couple of colors for you. Let's do like this blue and this green and pink. They're really pretty, right? They have this really pretty glittery color to them. I don't know. I think they're pretty. They might be looking a little chalky, but whatever. I mean, they're really gorgeous colors, and I love Too Faced so much. So that is that palette here. Isn't that the cutest thing in the world? I just love that. I think it's adorable. So that is the holiday palette, and I'm so dying to get... Um, these like holiday palettes for my friends for my two best friends and for my sister I'm gonna get them like the smaller Too Faced palettes for Christmas and I can't wait to get them for them I think they're gonna die and I think they're gonna absolutely love them so then the next things are from an online order from Makeup Geek now I didn't go absolutely insane the only reason why I placed this order is because I needed a backup of Beaches and Cream because Beaches and Cream, if you can see this, do you see how much I've used of this shadow? So, your girl needed to get a new one because I am running so low on this color. This is my favorite transition color ever in the history of the world. So, I could not not have this in my collection. I kind of would have died if I didn't have it. So, I decided to pick up a backup, but then I just decided to pick up five other shadows. I mean, there's these shadows are five bucks. I mean, come on. So now my Z palette is full, and I decided to pick up these six shadows right here, so I'm going to share them with you. Um, and also because these are colors that I actually really wanted to get the first time I had purchased all of these everyday matte colors, but I just decided to purchase 12 shadows and see how I liked them, and also because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I just decided to add these colors recently to my collection, and I just think it's like the perfect time to add these because these are such fall appropriate colors except for obviously this pink one but I'm going to share with you what the colors are called. So the first one up here is like this really beautiful frosty yellowish color and this one is called Rapunzel. I know it had to be a Disney name so I'm going to swatch that for you. And these are so buttery. Look at this color. Like there's just you can't beat the quality of these. 
And that is Rapunzel right up here. I'm kind of running out of room to swatch already, but look how gorgeous. Isn't it so pretty? And I have used all of these colors, and I have to say I really love them. The only one I'm not as crazy about, though, is this color right here. I still like it, but I think that these two, these shimmery colors are a lot better. And this one is a, like a beautiful shimmery gold color, and this one is called Glamorous. It's like a metallic gold color. I do like it. I just think that it's not half as buttery as Rapunzel when you dip your finger into it. It's a little bit rougher, which I'm actually surprised about. Um, so that is Glamorous right here. It is a pretty color right there. It doesn't have as much gold in it as you see in the actual pan, but it's a pretty color. I have used it. The reason why I got that one was because of Stephanie Nicole. She was using this in her blender series, and I like it, but we'll see how if I like it more. I've used it once so far. Then this next color right here is like this beautiful orangey color, and this one is called Chickadee. These two colors right here are strictly because of Jaclyn Hill because she uses the crap out of these two colors, so I really wanted to get them. And I really wanted to get them for a while. It's such a pretty color. Such a pretty color. I'm going to swatch this one more on the ends. So this one is Chickadee right there. Used that a couple of times already. It is really pretty. Then this next one is was like in her fav uh September favorites video and this one is called Desert Sands. I've been debating on buying this shadow as well and I'm really glad I got it. It is a really gorgeous color. See? Like super pigmented. You really can't beat the pigment of these. So this one is Desert Sands right here. It's a beautiful like mustardy brown color. I can't even really describe it. It's such a it's a really unique color. I really like really don't have anything like this in my collection. So that one is really gorgeous. Then the next one, I really wanted to get a solid, uh, like, matte pink color from Makeup Geek, so I decided to pick up this color right here, and this one is called Simply Marlena. It is named after the creator of Makeup Geek. Obviously, that is Marlena, which was a, she was a YouTuber at first, but I find this one is pretty rough when you dip your finger into it, but it does have really good color payoff. So that one is Simply Marlena right there. It's this really beautiful pink shade. And then the last shade that I picked up is pretty much a standard for the fall time. I feel it is so gorgeous with fall looks. I've been using the crap out of it already. I've used it at least like four times already. And this one is like a standard in anybody, any like Makeup Geeks Lovers collection. And this one is called, of course, Bitten. And it is this gorgeous dark red brown color. Oh my god. It's like this and Coco Bear together is just like a match made in heaven. And this one's a lot more butterier than uh, Simply Marlena. I'm kind of surprised about that too, but this color is so pretty. That one is Bitten right there. Sorry, it was kind of a weird swatch. But it's so pretty, right? I've been obsessed with that shade. I've been working it into like a lot of my Makeup Geek looks. And I'm definitely going to use it tomorrow when I go apple picking with my boyfriend. I'm doing like a full-on fall look. And then the last couple of things are just two highlighters. Um, as you can see, I did go pretty eyeshadow crazy in this, and I am waiting for another eyeshadow palette as well. Um, I did see yesterday that it was finally shipped, though, and I can't wait to share it with you. I've been waiting for it forever. Um, but I didn't get any blushes in this haul because the last haul that I had, I got those Makeup Geek blushes and those MAC blushes, so I haven't gotten any other blushes since then. And I am wearing um, Spellbound today. I've been obsessed with this blush. Um, I'm definitely going to put that in my favorites video because I love it. Um, but I've been wearing a lot of the MAC shadows and the um, matte and the Makeup Geek ones. So I don't really, I mean blushes. So I don't really need any more blushes right now. So, But I did feel like I was kind of in a highlighter rut. So I did pick up one thing from Ulta. Um, I did go in there just to look at the holiday palettes for my friends, but then I found this, and this thing is always sold out, like, at Ulta, and they actually finally, uh, restocked it last week, so I decided I finally wanted to pick it up and try it, and I'm never gonna pick up anything else from this brand. I do want the other highlighter in this, though. This is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. 
Now, I always see Young, Wild, and Polish use the heck out of this highlighter. This is like her all-time favorite. So I really wanted to try it because I love her. I think she's so hilarious. But I also really want that ballerina color too. I think it's really pretty. So it comes in this packaging right here. It's really cute. It has like a um, hard um, top. And then it says, obviously, Gilded Honey on the back. And I've just been really on a gold highlighter kick. I don't know what it is about gold ones lately. I've just been loving gold. And this is what this one looks like. I was going to use this one today, but then I decided to use opal instead. But I have used this a couple of times already. I used this like last weekend when I was staying over at a friend's house. And then I'm going to swatch it for you. It's really gorgeous. It's like pure gold. So that one is Gilded Honey right there. Really, really pretty. And then the last thing, so I've been using this a lot and I've been liking it. And I always see her using it constantly in her videos. But I do want to pick up Ballerina as well. I just didn't have enough money to pick it up then. And I went in there intending not buying anything. But I had to pick that up because I knew they would sell out of it. Then the last thing is actually something that I had ordered from Anastasia.com. I know I've said before that I don't ever want to really jump on the Anastasia bandwagon, but I really have been curious about trying out her highlighters, and I decided to order it from Anastasia.com rather than Macy's, because Macy's, you have to pay a crazy amount of ship uh, for shipping. I think it's like $10, and this is only for one thing. But on Anastasia.com, I got free shipping, and then they had stock of all of them, so I just decided to get it off of Anastasia. So I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in the color So Hollywood. Again, on a crazy gold kick. I don't know why, but I decided to pick up the gold one. I did want Starlight as well, but again, I didn't have enough money to buy both. And plus, I wanted to try one out first before I went and grabbed the other one. But the packaging on, on this, I'm kind of obsessed with. I don't know what it is. I just think it's so beautiful. So this one says, obviously, Anastasia Beverly Hills on the top. And then it says, Soul Hollywood Illuminator on the back. It is really gorgeous packaging. Like, really pretty. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Right? And I've used this the past three days in a row already. I don't know what it is about this, but I really like it. So it has a really beautiful pigment when you first put your finger in. And I'm going to swatch it right next to Gilded Honey. They are different though. So Hollywood is lighter. I actually thought they were pretty much really the same. But that one is uh, So Hollywood. So So Hollywood does have a lot more gold in it actually. Gilded Honey is a little bit darker. So that is So Hollywood right there. And that is everything I decided to pick up. I do want Starlight as well. But I'm, I'm probably going to order that at some point. But after I receive these few orders, I'm pretty much done buying makeup right now. I pretty much thought that I was done uh, buying makeup like a week or so ago. And then I decided to buy all these eyeshadows. I kind of want a little eyeshadow crazy. I don't know what it is. I did use the Natural Eyes palette today. I do try to get more use out of my other palettes. Um, but yeah, so please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, CW819. And my Twitter is PokerFace819. And then you realize that... You never have enough makeup, and yeah, so anyway, bye!